Power Query Unpivot. Now what makes this feature so amazing is if you have a cross-tabulated table, you can't sort or create a pivot table. But if you unpivot, then all of the data analysis tools will work. Now, cross-tabulated tables like this almost never come from a database. They almost always come from people who keep data in a cross-tabulated table. Now, that usually comes from a lack of knowledge of how important tables are to data analysis. Now, to unwind a cross-tab into a proper data set, you look at the first record excluding any columns, one or more, that you don't want to unpivot and simply count how many columns there are. We have seven different classes with seven different grades. So that means from the cross tab into the final proper data set, we'll get seven records. The first record in the table will have student name, class, grade. The second record will have repeated student, class, grade. If we come over and sort this A to Z, we can see the first record in the cross tab relates to the first seven rows in the proper data set. Using Power Query, we can unpivot. Click in a single cell, data, get and transform, that button right there, or we can use our keyboard, the right click key G. This opens up the editor. We definitely want to change the name, something like grades unpivoted. And because all these column headers should be in a single column, we select the first column, student, transform over to unpivot other columns, or we can simply right click, unpivot other columns. That is amazing. Just like that, we have our proper data set. Now we want to change the field names. We can see up in the formula bar, table.unpivot other columns. That's the name of the previous step. That's the column we selected and didn't want unpivoted. And these are the two names. So we double click, class, grade. Enter. Now we can home, close and load, close and load two as a table existing. And I'm going to try and put it in K4, click OK. Now, of course, we have a proper data set. So if we want to sort A to Z and get all of the BI348 classes together, bam, we can do it. Also, if we want a pivot table, click in a single cell, insert pivot table, or Alt N V T. To put this on the existing 04, OK. Student, grade, right click, summarize, and average. After adding some number formatting and the correct labels, we have our pivot table. So cross tabulated tables, not good for data analysis. It's easy to unpivot, and then you can sort, do pivot tables, and other data analysis features. Now there's one homework problem, you can try it here. All right, we'll see you next MEX video.